freedom. For a patient awaiting a new heart, freedom is something that was unimaginable just a few short years ago. Freedom means looking at life in his or her own world, instead of being confined to a hospital connected to a 400-pound machine. Freedom for these patients is a product of the Syncardia Total Artificial Heart, known as the Freedom Driver. This self-contained pulsatile mechanical pump serves as a bridge for patients awaiting a new heart, a bridge that allows patients to live their lives amongst their family and friends and in their own environment. This marvel of technology is being used successfully across the country to help heart transplant patients bridge that gap between the removal of their diseased heart and the implantation of a new, healthy heart. 76, Medic 476. The intersection of 7th and Marshall for chest pain. It by a total artificial heart is alarming. That means for EMTs, you have a new kind of call that could become more and more frequent in the next few years. Yes. You may very well find a patient who is living with the total artificial Ugh. heart freedom driver system. Oh, I'm so glad that you're here. And that means you must operate with a new set of protocols How you doing, sir? to stabilize the patient and prepare that patient for transport to the hospital. My chest is tight. It's hard to breathe. The first thing you'll notice with a patient attached to a Freedom Driver device is the noise. It's loud. Once you hear that sound, look for and identify the Freedom Driver device. Then go through the normal steps. Check the patient's level of consciousness. If the patient has a low level of consciousness, check to see if their airway is protected. The total artificial heart will continue to function, but the patient's respiratory status may need to be protected and supported. Intubate if needed. These patients are pulsatile. Always check the pulse and blood pressure. Now that you've identified the Freedom Driver, it's time to immediately prepare this patient for transport to the hospital. Remember, these patients are pulsatile. Always check the pulse and blood pressure. This is different from a continuous flow left ventricular assist device. This means you will get no electrical activity from the patient's heart and therefore no EKG tracing. Looks like we have asystole right now. This does not mean the patient is asystolic. Blood pressure and pulse check are the best physical, vital signs you will be able to use for assessment in this case. Take some nice, slow, deep breaths. Do not initiate chest compression. You also have access to displayed information on the external pump. At the touch of a button, you can monitor cardiac output, heart rate, and flow. And this says what we need, who we need to call. Okay. And Use family members who may be in the home as a resource, since they have most likely okay. been assisting the patient with his Freedom Driver device. Okay, I see 125, that's a little high. Is that normal for him? Yes, that's what they said it at the hospital. It is vitally important that you do not perform chest compressions, externally pace or defibrillate the patient, or administer epinephrine or vasopressin. This will be of no use to the patient since there is no actual heart and it could cause harm to the patient. I just talked to the doctor and they want him to get to the hospital as soon as possible. The yes, pump is working either on batteries or electricity. Even if the pump is alarming, it's still working. If the pump does not look like it's failing, it could be the patient is experiencing hypertension. If that's the case, patients have a backup driver with them at all times. The patient and his or her family may have medications available at the house to treat the hypertension. The backup device can be exchanged in the event of device failure. Family members are trained to do this before the patient leaves the hospital. Once the patient is stabilized, quickly transport them to the hospital. As the Freedom Driver device is put into use more frequently, you will encounter more and more of these types of calls. Make sure you become familiar with this device and enhance your ability to immediately recognize issues with patients who are carrying the Freedom Driver device.